Hello everyone, it's Mark. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, it's been a while since we posted a video. Uh, we've been pretty busy with some other projects going on, stuff that really I didn't think would justify making a video about it. Um, we uh, we sold our house. Um, sorry about that, I bumped the camera. We sold our house uh, down in St. Cloud where we lived, and so we had to move everything out and move it up here. And I thought we had the house pretty well cleaned out after we bought this place. We moved a lot of stuff up here, but um, we had a lot more stuff in there than what I I thought we would have. So we, we hauled a lot of junk up here. And um, so part of that, we were, we were trying to um, get it organized and put away. And right now my shop is just full of plastic bins and cardboard boxes full of stuff. And... So that's going to be another project I'm going to do uh, in between videos because it's going to be boring. I'm not going to make a video of it. Um, another thing I was doing, I've got a little uh, office in my in my sh uh, shop and uh, the previous owner had started a drywall and he never did finish it. So last week I, I finished the drywall on it. I've got to finish mud and Diane put the first coat on for me and I really do appreciate that. Uh, anybody that's done drywall knows that mudding's the least fun part of the whole project. Uh, but anyway, uh, I got the drywall put up. I, I had to run to Home Depot yesterday and get some more mud to, to finish uh, the joints and uh, screw uh, holes in the drywall there. And I don't know about you guys, but in our Home Depot right now, it's kind of hit or miss if you can get something. I went in there yesterday. I wanted to get a five-gallon bucket of joint compound. I looked all over, couldn't find it, and I finally asked somebody, and they said, all we have is a little... Um, they're like quart plastic tubs that's all they have right now so I bought three of those I'm hoping that'll be enough to finish what I have to do I don't have that much more to do so uh, we'll see um, but they're kind of out of stuff hit or miss I mean most times I go there they they have what I need but once in a while you get something that for whatever reason they're out I think the building industry's booming so much right now it's hard to keep anything in stock plus prices are going up but anyway today's video uh, is uh, I've got a 2016 Ford F-150 and um, it just turned over 125,000 miles, uh, put a lot of miles on it. Uh, but recently I started having problems with uh, the wipers and the cruise control. And because it was two separate items, I, I kind of thought, well, maybe there's something going on with the computer because the cruise control, some of the buttons would work sometimes, sometimes they wouldn't, sometimes they'd all work perfect. Uh, next time they wouldn't and it just kind of hit or miss it's kind of a pain and then same with my wipers I would turn like the first thing in the morning you got to do on the windshield you turn them on delay let it wipe it and I turn them off and even though the switch is off they stay on delay and I'd flip the switch back and forth back and forth finally I'd get it to stop sometimes I couldn't get it to stop and and then I'd stop the vehicle turn it off come back out later and they'd be off um, so I thought it was something to do more with with uh, the computer more than the switches because I thought, what are the odds of both of them going back at the same time? Well, Diane got online and, and she found um, information where that does happen. And uh, so I, uh, she ordered me a new turn signal uh, assembly and uh, came in. It was really easy to put in. I didn't even make a video of it because it's so easy to put in. Uh, the two screws hold it on and you drop the plastic uh, cover around the, the steering column take these two screws out It just pulls straight out the new one plugs straight in two screws and you put the cover back on and you're done It probably didn't take 15 minutes um, I, In the meantime, I went ahead and ordered the uh, Switch assembly for the cruise control and I watched a video on YouTube about it And, and they, the guys on YouTube make it look really easy to remove the airbag there's two holes on the back of the steering column on each side and you just put a stick a, I think they said a 330 second sound wrench or something like that in it push in on these little pins and it should pop right out well I, I tried pushing on pushing on. I couldn't get it to pop out I, I didn't have the 330 second sound wrench I was trying to use a screwdriver and I don't know if I could get all the way down to it or not through that tiny hole so I brought it to my shop today where all my tools are because I was trying to do it down at our other house and um, so today I'm going to try to replace that switch and then also um, we bought a, a small travel trailer um, and my truck didn't have a brake controller in it. So fortunately the, um, the factory pre-wires them for brake controllers even though they don't put them in there. So I was able to buy, uh, it's an aftermarket 
a brake controller, but it's it's uh, like OEM, and it'll plug directly into that plug-in. So it's real easy to do. I just got to pop a plastic panel off the dash, um, pull out the little. It's got like a little coin tray in there. You just pop out, and this brake controller, in theory, will pop right in place, plug in, and you're you're you got brakes. So uh, we're we're going to try that today. So uh, let's get started. Okay, anytime you're doing anything with electronics on your vehicles, you want to be sure and disconnect the battery first, especially if you're dealing with the airbags, uh, just for safety in case it would accidentally go off while you're messing with them. It'd be like a bomb going off in your hands. So you always want to make sure you disconnect the battery. I've already done that. And then I started on this, these trim pieces down here. You got to take this, this bottom piece off here because this piece goes underneath of it. And then I've already popped this loose and I've taken this out. This takes a... Uh, a seven millimeter socket to take this screw out. It's got one screw on the driver's side over here up, up by the gas pedal. Um, normally they don't have screws in them. It kind of surprised me it had that in there. But anyway, I got that out and I, of course I popped this off and got it out of there. And then I, you just reach under here and pop this loose. I already popped it loose because again, I hadn't done this before and I just want to make sure everything was going to come off easy. I didn't want to waste a bunch of your time uh yanking and pulling on this stuff but it, it it's a little tight you got to kind of pull on it but it does it will pop off and then when you pop it loose there's a you can see right on the back there that plug in and then that red plug in there it's plugged in there so you got to disconnect that and then down here it's like a little little coin pouch that you can put stuff in i mean it's pretty tiny i don't know what you put in there but basically you just pop this piece out and there's your plug in for the uh, brake controller it's already there so all you gotta do is unplug this piece. I'm gonna do one handed here. Okay, and you got that plug in. And then this is the new brake controller I got. I got it on eBay. And um, it's it's not a a genuine Ford part, but it's uh you know, it, it looks just like it. It's just a knockoff of a Ford part. It's about half the cost, so hopefully it's good. And basically, you just reverse everything you did. You plug this back into the back of it. And then this should just snap right back in place. It should. Okay, and it's not pushed all the way in, but the other one wasn't that way either. The the piece I took out, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't all the way up in there either, so I don't know if that pushes in when you... Because it pushes in, it just doesn't stay. I guess this plastic piece will hold it in. So I'm going to try to set up this camera and uh, so I can put this back on. I'm going to turn it off for a second. I don't know how much is going to show up on camera here, so i got to plug this piece back into the back of here, so you got to... I don't think that does anything. That must be, there's no pins inside that. I think they just plug it in there like they did that brake controller, just keep it up out of the way. But something must go in here instead of this um, little coin thing. I had to pop this radio up to get that in there. got to force it. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, that's it. And then this bottom piece goes back on. I'm like There you go. And there you have your brake controller. Okay, the next thing is the switch for the steering column. And I was kind of surprised. I thought it would just be the... Um, I thought it would just be this little switch assembly right here. But it actually includes this assembly here. They made it all in one piece. Let me show you here. I thought it would have been cheaper to make them individual units, but you can kind of see here, um, just all one piece. And it's just got one plug-in right there for the whole assembly. And again, it, it only has two screws holding it in, but this plastic piece right here has to come off. And it goes, you know, it covers the whole steering wheel, so you have to get this airbag off, and then... This plastic piece just pops off, but the airbag has two little clips holding it in place. And um, which is kind of different. The older vehicles, you had a, a screw in the back of the steering wheel on each side. You take uh, the nuts off of it and you just slide this right off. So I don't know if this new way is any better or not. If I can get it off, I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I just took a um, small Allen wrench. I don't know what size that is. I guess it's 330 seconds and you stick it in this hole right here on the steering column or on the steering wheel you push it in and you'll feel it hit the clip and then you push in it you can feel it's kind of like spring loaded you push in on it i was able to pull up on one side here a little bit went over and did the same thing the other side and the airbag comes right out so um there's a clip right here and then two on the back I have to get a screwdriver okay there's two plugins on the back this one I already took off you can see that orange clip on it you just have to pop that up first like on this one you just pop it up like that and then it'll come right out and that'll drop down then you got to undo this one here
Again, that's got a little a little safety clip on it here. save it and that should unplug oh, I guess I didn't need to take that out it keeps all the wires and looks like you got to come up here and do this there we go and that is unplugs from Kind of hard to hold the camera up there. I don't know how you guys do that. Anyway, it unplugs from right like that. Okay, so then just take and gently set the airbag off to the side. Wow, you won't need that for a while. And I just, I don't trust airbags. Anybody that mess around with them got to know that even though they're not connected, I'm still always afraid they're going to go off. So you just start working your way around it here and just start pulling and you can kind of see it'll start coming coming loose as you pull on it. And there you got the whole assembly out. Now what I need to do is get in here I gotta take this plug in off and this plug in off just so I can get this off the steering wheel to make it easier to uh, to get that switch out. So I'm going to set the camera down here for a second. Okay, and then once you have this off, you can see there's a um, torque spit right here and a torque spit right down here. That's what holds this into the assembly. So you just have to take those out. Ooh, look at those white legs. <laughs> I don't wear shorts very often, but it's so warm out here. I decided to wear shorts today. I hope the glare is not uh, affecting the video too much there. Uh, if it is, I apologize. Well, I guess there's a third one here. I didn't think there was, but I guess there is. I'm not sure. Nope, there's actually a fourth one, too. <laughs> I guess I should look a little closer next time. I just glanced at that new one, and I thought I'd only seen two ears, but there's two more little ears on it here. Another one up here. Okay, now it should just lift off. There you go. And this is a new one. Again, it's an aftermarket one, but um, it should work just fine. Everything's aftermarket anymore. Okay, now it's just a reverse process of what I did to take it apart to put it back together. So basically this goes back in here. I'll put those plug-ins back on each switch on each side, snap this back in place, plug the airbag back in, snap it back in place, and we should be good, good to go. So I'm going to do that, and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, and it's all back together. Everything actually fit. So... Uh, 
I just need to hook the battery up and then just make sure everything works. You want to check all your, you know, the, the buttons on this side and this side both. Make sure your horn works. Of course, you can't check the airbag. Hopefully, you never need to worry about that. But you definitely want to check and make sure all your switches work. And, um, you, you know, it's the way the wiring goes back in there, it's really, if you put it back together the way it came out, it's really difficult to pinch a wire or anything. Uh, but nothing's impossible, you know, so just make sure you double check everything and um, I think that's it Well, I think that uh, takes care of the truck um, I'll make another video here pretty soon showing you kind of the what we're doing around the property here again with the drywall in the office and stuff like that, but uh, I Appreciate you watching our videos uh, if you like them uh, Please hit the subscribe and like button and share them with your friends and we'll see you on the next video